Brooklyn, New York, just across the East River from Manhattan, this historic neighborhood has become a hip and trendy place to live. Seven years ago, Kata and Marcelo moved here just after they got married. We always wanted to have a restaurant and wanted to make a dream come true. We decided to open a restaurant, Mojitos, a Cuban food. We live together upstairs in the apartments. Hi, guys. How are you? Welcome. Marcelo and I, we both come out with different specials all the time. I've been cooking my whole life, and I love it. We share responsibilities of the restaurant. He takes the back house, and I take the front house. I do the food, the orders, the payroll. I do everything. But a year after we opened the restaurant, things started going very bad. Gata! Marcelo and I are constantly fighting. Just serve the, the rice. Serve the rice. You're right there. Yes, we are on it. Marcelo, why don't you listen wow. to me? No, Let it's... We're feeling my way, in my way. No. She have the book. How drive Marcelo crazy? First. Say, you don't do nothing. Isn't that your responsibility? Second, clap. Do it, do it, do it now! OK, cheese a bit. That's not the way you make it. I don't respect Marcelo, because he doesn't know how to handle pressure. Where is the guava and cheese here? You're the chef and you don't know? They will fight in front of customers. We got the food on time. It gets ugly. Because of the fighting, we separated two years ago. I get another apartment in Queens, and I and I, I live there. We destroy a marriage, and I don't want to destroy my restaurant. There's someone in the bank? Zero. We have invested everything we have, like $300,000. If I lost the restaurant, I will lose my dream. I lost my baby. This is my baby. I sacrificed for Mojitos my relationship. But it's Kata. The most important thing I have. Mojitos destroy our lives. Sorry. Mojito is the restaurant we're about to visit. What I do know is it's the only Cuban restaurant in Brooklyn, so that has to be a big plus. But what I don't know is why do they need my help? Right. Well, hello. Hi. Hello. First name is? Catalina. Catalina. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting Excellent. you. And you're the? I'm one of the owners slash chef. OK. I have a partner. Marcelo is his name. Right. We used to be married. We've been separated for two years. You used to be married? To my partner. Oh, Jesus. It's just like water and oil. We just don't mix anymore. Don't mix. And it's just like conflict all the time. Well, it's all about the uh, food. I'll have a look through the menu. Nice to meet you. Same here. OK. Bye -bye. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah. A real interesting decor, yeah. It's almost like a sort of garage sale uh, gone wrong. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Yeah, for D, thank you. Uh, let's start off with chicken classic soup. Let's go for the pescado marinara, the tilapia. Yeah? Absolutely. I really believe Chef Ryan's is gonna, gonna like the food. I think that 97% of my food will be great. Thank you very much. That was very fast. Very fast indeed. Let's hope it's good. It's cold. I don't want to be a pain in the ass, but can I have the soup hot? It's cold. Hot, it's cold. Wow, let me get that hot for you, OK? Please. Absolutely. Uh, he would like a hot soup, not cold. Who said that? Uh, Ramsey said. What happened with the soup? I have a thermometer here, boiling hot. You want to check? You want to check with me? It wasn't boiling hot? And now it is. It's, it's boiling hot. Listen. Now it is, but when it went out, it, it was. Before you, you guys send something out, please check, double yeah. check, yeah. triple check, check one more yes. time. Yes, yes. Listen, go to your bar. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry. Just when I went to taste these. These are so salty. I mean, you'd need six mojitos before you start eating six spoons of that. You're right. They're disgusting. Excuse me. Let me take this back. What a shame. I can't even get the basics right. Do me a favor. The try the beans. Marcelo, try the beans. Salty as hell. Throw it out! Get it together, Marcelo! Don't 
control. Listen, I try to control hey. everything. Hey. I try to control hey. everything. Take a I'm gonna take, I'm everything. gonna take. No, no, listen. Throw, things. throw them out, you're changing for new listen. ones. Listen, let me fix the, let me fix the shit. Let me fix the shit. Okay, focus. Let me fix the shit. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Get out of here. No, it's freaking too dark. Oh, my God. There's definitely, definitely a lack of harmony in the kitchen. It's not getting cold. Instead of arguing, do it, do it, do it, do it now. I want this one right like now. Oh, my God. That's going to be a complete disaster. Take your things and do what you have to do. Now go out here. I'm not going out. Go out here. I'm not. Go out of my kitchen. No. Go out of my kitchen. Go out of my kitchen now. How are you doing? Yeah, fine, thank you. And you? Oh, fine. Can I get you anything else while you're waiting um, for No, I'm going to wait for the tilapia. Okay. Thank you. I hope it comes out right. Thank you very much. All right. Wow. I know. I can't believe it. The beans, the basic of us. I hope you enjoy it, because it's actually my favorite dish. Thank you. Delicious. Wow. He love it. Yeah, he loves it. The fish is not cooked. The fish is not cooked. Ah, it's really not. That is a shame. I'm gonna bring it back. That's a very big mistake on behalf of the kitchen. Keep us on. Not cooked. Raw fish. What's wrong with you guys? It's raw. It's, it's raw. not cooked. I put the tester, the, the no oven no tester. Good. Raw. This is raw. Raw, raw, fish. raw, raw, raw. This never comes raw. What's wrong? Hey! Excuse me. Center Catalina, please. Press a look in the handle pressure. The heat should not be in the kitchen at all. One, two, three filters, and everything's coming out wrong? Unbelievable. Uh, Goodbye. After a terrible lunch service, Chef Ramsay wants to meet Cotta's business partner, Marcelo, as well as the chefs responsible for his meal. How are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Good, and this is? Eduardo. Eduardo. OK, um, let me just tell you something. Lunch was a disaster. Who is the head chef? I'm the head chef. You're the head chef? Yes. Talk to me about the black beans. Was that perfect? No, the, the beans were not perfect. They were salty. Who cooked the tilapia? I cooked it. It was raw. I could hear a lot of shouting. What? Is that normal? That's how we hear every day. What do you mean every day? Every single day. He aggravates everybody. Kata's always pushing me, pushing me. They'll say, listen, do your thing. Let me do my thing. But she's in her thing and in my thing all together. Checking your performance. You're not my boss. I'm not your boss, but your partner. You know what happens when you are on top of me? Everything go worse. <laughs> You still live together? No, no, we separated. He lives in yeah, his, his own apartment, and I live here in the building. Upstairs? Upstairs. upstairs. Literally upstairs. Oh, dear. OK, uh, right now, I need some fresh air. I'm going to go for a walk, and I'll be in service tonight, watching everything, and try to do a better job than you did for me lunchtime. OK? I'll be back. Even with Chef Franzi, there's absolutely no hope for this restaurant to survive. After a miserable lunch, Chef Ramsay wants to see how this feuding couple handles dinner service. Guys, Chef Ramsay is here. Please keep focus and do everything according. Don't send everything out that is not right. I think she used a uh, long-lasting battery because she's stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck, 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 stuck. Catalina, the pretty girl owner of the restaurant, giving orders to everybody and don't do nothing. She don't do nothing. What's all that shit on the windows there? What is all that? The blue bottles? Yeah. It's just, the, it's just for, for decoration. Decoration? Decoration, that's it. Water, but what have you coloured it with? The toilet bowls. Toilet bowls? I make the, the, the blue water and I put it on it to put it in the... You I mean, I've heard of restaurants bottling water, but... Uh, it's just, just for decoration. Just no, for decoration. Not for drink, not, not for, for drink, human no. consumption. Unless you've eaten here. Word has spread of Chef Ramsay's arrival in Brooklyn. Hi, how are you? And Mojitos is busier than usual. You guys have a reservation? Yeah. Either one of these two tables. Enjoy your dinner, guys. With the first orders in, Chef Ramsay is looking forward to seeing the head chef in action. Marcelo, 
Marcelo. Are you expediting? Yes, you are. You could open up, at least talk. The kitchen staff, we do so much better without Marcelo. Stop putting the tickets that I'm already starting there here because it's all fucking me up. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He is not appetizer. It is an appetizer. Oh, yeah, you're right. What is that for? That's for uh, A3. A3? A3? Yes. No, I need it. Look. Clearly, Marcelo has no control of his kitchen. Oh, my God. Not only is food slowly making its way to the dining room, the dishes are not exactly being well received. That's terrible. That is horrible. Really. What's wrong with the chef? What's up with these empanadas? Can I have a regular stuff? All right. I'll be happy to help them fix that for you, OK? What's the They're undercooked. They want them cooked a little bit more. Oh. Marcelo, please keep checking that everything that comes out we is We check it already. Sure we check it already. Right. We, got it. we got it. We got it. We got it. Marcelo doesn't expedite. He doesn't have consistency. He just, like, sent things out just to get him out of the way. They ordered the shrimp quesadilla, but the gentleman says that he really doesn't like it. Would you like to order something instead of that? I don't want you go, to go home hungry. All right. No problem. I'm sorry, guys. Do you have this? You should guys should know better. How can you allow food to come out like that nasty? No nasty at all. I, we are doing something. Everything. You're gonna tell me the quesadilla is supposed to be crispy and it was like soggy. No, and it was crispy. It's not it. crispy. It's it was not soggy. Crispy. It's supposed to be nicer. The bad part of Kata is that she's not actually hands-on. She's just adding fire. You're trying to sabotage it. She's making the situation worse. No, but you're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. Perfect. 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 Like you're not perfect. Oh dear. Marcelo, a beaten man. He's soulless. If that's expediting, well, he may as well be sat at home. Kata, well, she can definitely talk, but she's not doing anything. Talk, 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 but nothing being done. Kitchen's in chaos, and the restaurant is fucking sinking. It's, it's cold. I don't want it. It's, I'm done. Chef Ramsay has seen enough of this service. Customers are unhappy. And there's chaos in the kitchen. So he decides to take a break from the madness and check out the food storage. Look at all this food in here. And what he finds is an outrageous amount of food for a failing restaurant. How much produce is in this fridge? Trays and trays of produce. Look, and they put the fresh one at the front, and at the back, you've got the squidgy one. Marinated skirt. No, oh, tilapia. That is what you call dry chicken. That's more chicken. There must be thousands and thousands of dollars worth of food here. If the cash flow is in the shit, this is a big reason why. Thank you very much. Have a good night, guys. After observing dinner service, Chef Ramsay now knows that Mojito's problems are not just confined to a bad relationship I don't argue for no reason. and subpar food. We'll never come here again. In fact, Mojito's is in much worse shape than he thought. <laughs> Right, let's start off with tonight's uh, dinner service. Or shall I say a disservice? Customers pissed off. Uh, dishes being returned. If each and every one of you want this fucking restaurant to work, you all have to reach for a standard. Whether you're serving food, whether you're cooking food, or whether you're sending food. At the end of service, I pop downstairs. Who does the purchasing in here? Who buys the fish, the meat, and the vegetables? Me, Marshallah. Stay there, stay there. Let me just show you something. Right now, I'm really nervous because I, I don't know what's go going to happen. Just play that out for me, please. Just bring the whole tray out for me. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what to expect. I'm scared. <laughs> Mojitos is over $300,000 in debt. I am amazed. What Chef Ramsay found in the basement is one of the reasons why. Oh, no. oh, I don't even want to look. Oh. Thanks. I was speechless. How can Marcelo allow something like this to happen? I've never seen 
such waste in my entire life. You've got enough food down there to serve a banquet of 5,000. There's seven of these down there. Seven. I don't know if I'm going to kill Eduardo first or I'm going to kill myself first. This is rapidly shutting down the restaurant. I've got some work to do, and I've got to get out of there, guys. That makes me feel sick. I'm the owner, and this is my kitchen. This is my place. I should be the one taking control of the situation. Chef Ramsay uncovered many problems at Mojitos, but for this restaurant to ever work properly, he has to understand the issues between Marcelo and Cotta. So he spends the morning with both of them. OK. All I've seen so far is a bossy, angry little princess. The restaurant's suffering on the back of both of you constantly hurting each other. He does it to you, you do it to him, and it's so sad. And it's affecting everybody else down the line. It's embarrassing. Take me back seven years when you got married. We are together all the time. Everybody say, you are the perfect couple. We decide to have a baby. So we started to do fertilization process. The IVF and nothing happened. I was putting everything into it, mm -hmm. and I was willing to sacrifice and to do and go through the treatment, but it was no support from him. Mm -hmm. Like, while I was on the treatment, injecting myself, he was out partying with friends. Mm -hmm. I was being left alone. That's when I'm like, no, not happening. You're not coming home to me at 7 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm your wife. Yeah. So that's when everything started going wrong. Mm -hmm. How did the marriage break down? She go to Florida for one year and a half in Miami. Did she meet somebody else in Miami? Did she meet another man in Miami? Yeah. I took a trip. During the trip, I decided that I was going to leave him. You're not making me happy. I'm not making you happy. Go your way, I'll go my way. Do you think it's time that one of you says goodbye to the business and give each other space? I think we'll be very healthy. I want Kata off of this business. She don't have any idea of how to run a business. She don't do nothing. How important is the business for you? It's everything for me. The person that I was married to, the person doesn't exist anymore. He's gone. And I have to move on. And that's what I'm doing. And I take the loss of my marriage. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the price that I have to pay for my business. So I'm taking it on my business because that's all I have left. Whatever it takes, I go to the end until I feel that there's nothing else that I can do. I've got a plan. I just, I need to see you like it was four and a half, five years ago. You know, funny, confident, and no bickering. I'm committed. OK. Com Thank you. Come here. Come here. Stand strong. Thank you. Marcelo and I, if we don't find a way to communicate, if we don't find a way to get into an agreement, the restaurant is going to go down the drain. But Marcelo really drives me crazy. I don't think it's going to work ever. While Kata and Marcelo have both lost their passion for each other, Chef Ramsay wants to know if they still have their passion for the food. One thing I haven't seen since I've been here is you two working together. So that's what exactly we're going to do now. Oh. With all these ingredients in front of you, cook me something authentic, something Cuban, and do it together. Oh, gosh. Are we going to be able to do this? I, no arguing. <laughs> yes? We can be together at the kitchen. So, OK, I'll make the shrimp with the pineapple sauce. OK, let me do the, the fricka shrimp. Marcelo wanted to make chicken, but I wanted to do my shrimp. So we started cooking two dishes instead of one. Very quiet in here. Are we OK? Everything good. Everything's good. Is this dish done together? We're doing two dishes. Fucking hell. I want to see you two Muppets work together. Yeah. One dish. Oh, my God. That's not going to happen. OK, OK, OK. Don't freak. Just keep moving. OK. One dish. Two. 50-50. Oh. Unbelievable. OK. Chicken with potatoes. 
Whose idea was it to do the shrimp? Whose was it? Me. Mm -hmm. Simple flavors. I think I did a much better job than Marcelo. Mm. I like that. Nice. That's nice. What is that? Chicken fricassee. Presentation, it's not as attractive as the shrimp, clearly. Not blow me away, it's mediocre. The shrimp is the dish I'd love to pay for in a local Cuban restaurant. We'll do that as a special tonight, yes? Yeah, Makes me feel wonderful that my dish has been chosen for a little special by Chef Ramsey. An honor. OK, good. Now, do me one more favor. Fuck off out together through the door. See if you can just manage walking out together. <laughs> Now. While Chef Ramsay works on another special with Chef Eduardo... Right, let's do something together, yes? Something special is also happening out in the dining room. Marcelo. Kata and Marcelo are communicating. I wanted to ask you if you want to switch tonight. I'll be in the kitchen. You want to be here? Will you come out here, you stay up front. You just, like, follow the lead. Rex, we got to talk to Chef Ramsay if he allows us to do that. Oh, if he allows it, I'll go into the kitchen. The people at the kitchen gonna run out with her attitude, with her... She's a nightmare. Chef Ramsay's plan for tonight's dinner service features his garlic chicken and caught a shrimp with mango salsa. Tonight's gonna be a lot better than we had last night, yes? Yes. 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 But Kata has a plan of her own. Um, Chef Ramsay, we're gonna be switching places. Uh, Marcelo and I are um, gonna be in the kitchen starting. He's gonna be from house. That, that sounds great. Uh, who came to that decision? We both did, yes. Woo! Round of applause. Huh? That's amazing. Wow. Huh? Talk to, well, yeah. Everybody's happy. So I want fast, efficient service, hot fucking food, and more importantly, you've got to show me that you can handle those small changes. Expedite, host, serve, cook. Woo! Let's go, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Welcome to Mojito. Thank you. Yeah. Ten point two. I'm definitely really nervous about tonight's dinner service. I don't think Marcelo does well in the front of the house. OK, don't bounce around like a monkey, yeah? Walk in the fucking dining room. As patrons enter the restaurant... Welcome to Mojito. You will find this place it's over here. Kata takes the helm in the kitchen. While you work for me, I'm your boss. So you're here and fryer. This is your section. I can definitely handle pressure in the back of the house. You need more chicken than vegetables. And I know I'm going to do a much better work than Marcelo. How are you doing, guys? We have a couple of specials tonight. It's a lemon and garlic garden chicken. Uh, we also have uh, two jumbo grilled shrimp with uh, tropical salsa. We'll take one of those. Okay. You want the chicken special? Thank you so much. Here we go, guys. First order, yes? Guacamole and cheap, beef empanadas, and then we're gonna have a garlic chicken, pescado marinero, ropa vieja, churrasco de carne. I'll tell you what to throw the churrasco. And one order of empanadas, one chicken, one beef. Let me have an order of jumbo shrimp and one guacamole. No, two chicken special. Thank you, team. Another order of the jumbo shrimp special. Well done. Tonight's dinner service is off to a good start. Good. Kata has control of the kitchen. One chicken. Thank you so much. And customers are enjoying the specials. I don't know why, but it feels better tonight. Why Way better. Why? Catalina is awesome in the kitchen. Two guacamole and chips, one tropical shrimp. Marcelo is actually better in the front because it's less stress on him. Senor, thank you so much. So he's better in the front, she's better in the kitchen. Yeah, I believe so. Three more chickens in total. Yeah. You look so good and composed back here. That's how you do it. Hello. Holler back, baby. Holler back. Thank you, baby. All the love. This restaurant is still chaotic, but there's a massive, significant difference. Kata can handle pressure a thousand times better than Marcelo, and the good news is the specials are flying out. While the new specials are a big hit with the diners, really good. The original menu is striking out. I have to get something else. Just a very strange taste to it. Coming up. What's wrong? He didn't like the. Uh, it's his it's had a strange taste. Strange taste. Yes. Okay, let's go, guys. Pick up. Kata, this steak was a uh, strange taste. Can I have ropa vieja instead? Yes. It's on the window. Come on, Kata, wake up. Keep it respectful. Remember who I am. Don't 
don't give me attitude because I don't need to give you attitude. I'm the boss, like you or not. You have to listen to me. You waiting for your side still, right? Yes, he's oh, getting it. Okay. It's not working. What is it for? Wait, let me have the ticket. What's the mess for the ticket? I'm feeling a lot of pressure. There's lost tickets. There's all food coming out wrong. Everything is a disaster. And Chef Ramsey is watching us. I need a container for that tickets, an ice pump or something. I need a spike in the kitchen because we're, we're losing fucking tickets. Oh my God, those sandwiches are not ready yet. Almost done, almost done, almost done. When we get busy, Kata loses herself. She becomes very confused. We have one order of tropical shrimp. That went out already. Everything went out. She doesn't know what really is going on. Wait, 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 but mommy, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's chaos. It's an hour and a half into dinner service, and the restaurant is in utter turmoil. What is it for? There are lost orders. I need a spike in the kitchen because we're, we're losing tickets. Unhappy customers. It tastes like fast food. And Kata is spinning out of control. Wait, 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 but mommy, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mojitos is on the rocks once again. It's getting cold. We cannot have any more food waiting for one like order. You're one order for one ticket like this. No. One you Five were minutes later. Oh, my God, Marinero. Five minutes later. Marcelo, get out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen. She becomes like a tiger. Get out of my kitchen. Uh, go out. Out of the oh, kitchen. Okay, okay. okay, no. Get out of Thank the kitchen. What's, what's wrong with this girl? She's crazy. Dad, perfect. Thank you. That doesn't leave there, yeah? Yeah. The kitchen is getting behind. Everything is getting... It's not coming out right. Everything's going wrong. I have to, like, take control and do something, take some action. All right, guys. This order, we have to make it perfect. Perfect. Yeah, here we go, yeah? OK, so you need two churrasco medium, two garden chickens, one pescado marinero, one milanesa breaded. Is the chicken coming? Yeah. Be one. After a good start, a miserable middle, Kata pushes for a strong finish. Take that, take that, take. Okay. You like to black meat? Kata seems to be doing better. Get two chickens, yes. Nice. Now she's got a better grip on tickets, on expediting. Take that chicken, my mom. Go team, go team. Brilliant, well done. Tonight was so much better than last night. A lot smoother. Take care. Good night. After an up and down service, Chef Ramsey knows that for mojitos to reach its potential, that is beautiful. Kata and Marcelo have to be on the same page. OK, first of all, tonight was better. But let me tell you, we can't just get by on two specials. We need to be consistent. So it was a small step forward. Now we have to take a giant leap forward. That will be done tomorrow. We're going to relaunch this restaurant. I'm going to be working on the menu throughout the whole night. But before I leave you here, I'm going to ask you a very serious question. And I spent a lot of time with both of you, and I, I, I totally accept that the possibility of a husband and wife scenario is not on the cards. That is not going to happen. But you both own the place. And what I need to know from both of you is that are you prepared to put the grievances, your egos, your frustration, your anger aside and completely focus on your baby. And that is the Mojito restaurant. Because if you can do that, you've got a strong possibility of making this place work. If you can't, then we have a big fucking problem. Good night. I think we're going to be on track. With the belief that Kata and Marcelo are committed to working together, Chef Ramsey and his team spend the night giving mojitos a much-needed makeover. Good morning. Welcome to Mojitos. Wow. The new Mojitos, yes? Doesn't it feel twice as big? Hello, Cuba. This looks amazing. Blocking out all that natural light was crazy. Look how bright this place is. It looks bright. 
open. open. The first thing that's gone missing are the 500 bottles that were stopping all that natural light. Oh, yes. that's beautiful. Take a wow. look at where your bottles have gone. Look, <laughs> no more blue rings cleaner. It's the new beginning of the restaurant. <laughs> Casa, what do you think? This is amazing. This is a huge step moving forward. And this has like inspired us and like give everyone this part that we were missing to keep going and keep working hard. Great restaurant. Yes? Yes. Now you need a proper menu. Wow. So wow. Pacha, the menu's been cut in half. Why? We need speed. Yes. <laughs> hey, we, keep it, we keep it small. Yes. We keep it fresh. Please. And more importantly, we no longer need to keep 10,000 worth of ingredients downstairs yes. that's not been turned. Yes? Yes. yes. You happy? I'm extremely easy. Yeah. Good. Unbelievable. And then she had a cry like a, like a baby. Wow. I really feel really happy for her. <laughs> I'm so happy, so, 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 so happy. Today is the beginning of a new chapter inside Mojitos. Thank you Come so here, you. much. Come Thank here. You little firecracker. Hey, this is the best. Yes, this is the best. With the renovation done and Marcelo and Cato's relationship on the mend, Chef Ramsay has done away with the cafeteria-style food and, in its place, contemporary Cuban cuisine. Look at the difference in the portion size first. Baked cod, meatballs, entrees, slow roast pork, braised short rib, authentic and sumptuous. It's a lot less, but visually, it's beautiful. From the new menu, I find a lot of exciting new things. Wow, meatballs, wow. I'm so excited. I'm really looking forward for tonight. For relaunch night, with Chef Ramsay's blessing, Cotta and Marcelo decide to work the front of the house, greeting customers, leaving Chef Eduardo in charge of the kitchen. You convinced you can do it? Yeah. Hey, Marcello, two seconds. I've managed to get a really amazing VIP guest here this evening. He's the president of the Brooklyn Borough. Okay, so so uh, look after him, yeah? Thank you. We will. Okay. Everything's on the line tonight. Marcelo and I have to come together, otherwise we're going to fail. How many are you guys? Four. Follow me this way, guys. Looks good in here. Yeah. 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 Are you guys ready? Got it. Cubans up, it's okay. For the first time in five years, Brooklyn's only Cuban restaurant clearly has a buzz in the dining room. Awesome. Thank you, gentlemen, Thank so much. You. And as for the kitchen, it's a different story. Very quiet here, guys. Huh? Eddie, two orders on, yet yeah, nothing called out. You're not going to call the orders out to the team? If those tickets come in, you've got to be in control, big boy, yes? yes? Sir. Good man. Your food should be out any minute, OK? Pick up. With Chef Eduardo's lack of communication, food is leaving the kitchen slowly. Be right back with the beans. And when it does arrive in the dining room, I didn't get this. What did you get? I got a Cuban sandwich. Some customers receive dishes they didn't even order. Had a Cuban sandwich? Yeah. Guys. What about if wow, I what? F5 is missing a Cuban. I found it. What came back? This babe, that's because they order a Cuban sandwich. Not the pork. Not the pork. Unbelievable. Look at me now. You've got to call out the fucking orders because he's cooking blind. OK. Yeah, so he needs okay. some form of direction, yeah? And don't forget to send Bean out with every order. Oh, fuck. Wow. Pressure's full, great atmosphere. Unfortunately, food started coming back and Eduardo has fucking shut down. Not tonight, because this could be a fucking disaster. Well, we got six. Well, yeah. we did order six. Another all chicken. Yeah, we ordered. We ordered a mix of uh, all, all, all the different flavors. And yeah, that's. Had. I'm so sorry. They got. They got obviously their information mixed up back there. I see tickets coming back because Eduardo was completely lost. Hey guys, F4 is missing more empanadas. They have one of each. And oh, we got a little too fast. Come on, man. Welcome to Mojito. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the food, and this is the table special for you, OK? Yes. The president of the borough is here, and the kitchen is a disaster, completely disaster. What is this? So we can start taking it. What table? 
The steak's cold as well. The president of the world is here. Eddie's not expediting, he's not talking, he's not communicating. If Eddie doesn't start to speak up, this kitchen's gonna go down. It's relaunch night, and the president of the Brooklyn borough has arrived. Welcome to Mojito. And the timing couldn't be worse. Eduardo is a mess, and Chef Ramsay knows he has to step in. Turn those steaks over. Two seconds with me, two seconds. Literally two seconds. Come on, what's the matter? Huh? What's the matter? I'm fucking all over no, the place. I know you're fucking all over the yeah. place. But what you're not doing for you, for me, for the restaurant, no one's talking. Okay, I'm gonna put my dishwashing to frying because I need... Do something. Okay, I guess. Okay? okay Come I on, you. Eddie. I got you, I got you. Sure. Fuck me, talk. Yes, sir. Just do something but talk. Come on. Yes, Okay. You can do it. Come here. Cuba, come here. The president of the borough is here, and the kitchen is a nightmare right now. I have to do something, and I have to do it now. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let, let's expedite this. We concentrate in a pescado marinero, ropa vieja, arroz con pollo, one meat only, churrasco pork. OK? Nice. Here we go. That's the most important order of the night. As one guy, we cannot afford to piss off tonight. Exactly. Arroz con pollo. The new pernil, the new pernil and the arroz con pollo. Fish. Yeah, fish coming out right now. Excellent. The arroz. I need another ropa vieja more. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, we need more plantains. Can we, do we have more? It's coming at five. Give me five, give me five. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Hi, buddy. Kata and me are working together well again. I'm gonna do this and you do that. Let's go. With Kata and Marcelo finally working together as a team, All right. the kitchen is back on track. This is B3? B3. And now the only thing left to make the night a success is satisfying the borough president. How's everything here? Cheers, yes. They loved everything. Yeah, baby. Yeah! yeah. Well, Marcelo took control of the whole situation. He was very put together, very calm, very relaxed. He really got things going in that make me gain more respect for him. Well, it means a lot for us for you guys to be here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Best wishes. Thank you. That's it. That's it. I think that the passion is back. I I'm back. I'm back again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Have a good night. Carter and Marcelo came together like the team they once were and Mojito's relaunch was a success. Right, tonight wasn't perfect, but I did see one thing that, that I haven't witnessed at Mojito's for the first time, and that was teamwork. Well done. What do you think about the future of this restaurant now? Before it was really uncertain. We didn't know if we were going to last a month, a week, a day. Now we have a long-term future. It's up to both of you. Are you seriously willing to put your past aside and commit to your baby. I already start. I feel great this night. I get the energy that I had five years ago. It feels great to see Marcelo smile. Him showing his emotions, it just sort of right in my heart. Do me a favor. Tell each other how important it is. You are my partner, and I need your support, and I need your commitment. So if you committed to me, I'll be 110, 120, 200 committed to you to make it work and to the restaurant. I, I need you to continue. You are the, the half of that. I'm going to do everything that it takes to make it work. You guys work well together. Tonight proved that. I feel in, in, in my heart that I get Kata back. I get my partner back. Don't stop. You'd be mad to. Come on, my darling. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good to see you guys. Great team. What a night. When I first arrived, I honestly didn't think it was possible that Kata and Marcelo could actually work together. But tonight, they proved me wrong. Now, I'm wondering if the restaurant that actually ruined the marriage could now be the restaurant that saves the marriage. Fuck me. Only time will tell. You live in hope. Get me a strong mojito. After Gordon's departure, Marcelo and Cotta were determined to follow his advice. We need to work as a team. We need to be able to pay all this. Thanks to Gordon's smaller menu, Marcelo buys less produce, saving nearly $10,000 a month. And he and Cotta wasted no time promoting the new mojitos. We want to invite everyone 
to come and shake it up, a mojito. They got the word out to the community by using the popular Brooklyn flea market, winning rave reviews. It's really good. Good? Yeah, and I can taste the spices in there. It's very rich. More importantly, Marcelo and Kata are fighting less and laughing more.